Okay, this is uh, part two of our tutorial for the HTC Evo 4G on the Sprint network. Um, so on the first video we showed you the home screen just gave you a basic overview of the different home screens that you have and how you can add and remove widgets from the home screens. Um, so now I'm going to take you into what's called the application tray. So to access that, you're just going to hit this little uh, gray arrow on the bottom left. So let's hit that now. And you'll see it says all apps on the top. These are all the apps that I have installed on my HTC Evo 4G. And you can just swipe up with your finger and that will scroll through all of your applications. Uh, as you can see I have lots and lots of applications on here that normally don't come on the phone. And I'll talk about hopefully all of these eventually in subsequent videos. But for now, just want to show you, you know, the the way it scrolls and how you can look at what other apps are installed on your phone. So to close that, you can just hit the down arrow again, or the little arrow that you hit to open it, which is in the bottom left next to where it says phone. So hit that, and the tray goes away. Um, so this is a phone first of all, so let's explore some of the phone features of this device. So if I hit the phone button, it brings up my dialer and uh, you know I can minimize the, the the keys there. If I scroll through this, it'll show me a little call history and uh, if I hit that button again, it brings up the numbers and I can dial you know, much like a regular cell phone. This other button down here, next to the call button, that gives you a look at your call history. And so, you know, again, that's just more phone, phone functionality. Scrolling over, online directories. You can integrate your Facebook, Flickr, and Twitter accounts with this phone, and it'll pull contact info of your friends from those accounts, so that's kind of a handy feature. Um, scroll over here, these are the groups, these are the groups that I have on my phone. Um, again, you can add people to groups. And then, these are the contacts. Uh, one of the neat things about this phone is, I'm kind of scrolling through really fast here, but I uh, just want to give you a, you know, quick idea of what it looks like. Um, one of the neat features about this phone is that you can link your account with, like I said, Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr, and it'll pull people's contact information, including pictures. So uh, let me go to my contact card. As you can see, it's got my Facebook profile picture, and if I open that up, it's, it's pulled my birthday from Facebook, so that's kind of neat. Um, so we'll just hit the home button to go back to the home screen. And um, down here on the bottom, there's four little buttons. These are capacitive buttons. They're not actual you know hardware buttons that you click on and they have some sort of tactile feedback. They're just little capacitive buttons. The home, home button will take you home if you're in an application if you're on the home screen and you hit the home button again, it does the same thing that pinching on the screen will do. And then we have the menu button, which, let me go back to the home screen real quick. The menu button will give you menus for whatever program you're in. It's a contextual menu. So since I'm on the home screen, hitting menu here will give me the, function, give me the uh, option to go to all apps, to do scenes, um, which I'll talk about a little later. Add to home, which is you can add widgets and programs on your home. Notifications, <clears throat> I'll talk about this. If I hit notifications, it'll pull down the menu here. And as you can see, I have some programs up here which you won't have out of the box. And also this USB debugging is necessary so that I could record on the screen. Um, but again, you won't have that on. So to get rid of that, I can hit the home button um, I can hit the back button right here. Let's 
uh, focus a little better here. Um, so I can hit the home button or I can hit the back button and either one of those will get rid of the notification tray. If I want to uh, pull that tray down again, all I have to do is hold on the top here. Oops, I don't want to do that. Hold on the top and drag down with my finger. And again, it gives me that nice uh, notifications folder. And whenever you get text messages or emails or you have a missed call, it'll show up in this notification bar. And again, to get rid of that, you can press the back button, the home button, or just swipe it up with your finger like that. Uh, one of the other uh, phone functions I want to show you is the the messages, which are, of course, your text messages. And uh, so, anyways, that's there. Um, we have the camera. Uh, there is no hardware button. There is just these icons that you can add. So if you want to use a camera, you have to click on or click on. You have to press on an icon to access the camera. Again, there's no buttons around the phone that let you do that. The only buttons we do have are this volume button on the side and a power button on top, which is kind of dark. You can't see it too well, but those are the only hardware buttons that are on the phone. Um, like I said, the other ones are these capacitive buttons down here.